Today we're talking about something really important. How people are responding to the social, environmental challenges that come from using natural resources. We rely on these resources for just about everything. But sometimes our use of them can lead to big problems. Luckily, there are some creative and effective ways people are tackling these challenges. Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about the shift towards renewable energy sources like wind, solar, and tidal energy. These are fantastic alternatives to fossil fuels because they don't run out and they don't produce greenhouse gases that contribute to climate change. Wind turbines capture energy from the wind, solar panels soak up sunlight, and tidal energy harnesses the power of ocean tides. These renewable energy sources are becoming more popular as people look for ways to reduce their carbon footprint and protect the planet. Plus, they're a big part of the push towards a cleaner, greener future. Another response is reducing consumption. The idea here is simple. If we use less, we waste less. This can mean anything from cutting down on electricity use to buying fewer disposable products. For example, more people are choosing reusable bags, bottles, and containers instead of single-use plastics. By consuming less, we reduce the strain on natural resources and help protect the environment from overuse and pollution. Speaking of saving energy, let's talk about energy saving strategies. One of the easiest ways to save energy is by using energy efficient appliances. These appliances, like refrigerators, washing machines, and light bulbs, use less electricity to do the same job, which is better for the environment and can save money on energy bills. Governments and organizations around the world are promoting these energy saving strategies to help reduce overall energy consumption and lower carbon emissions. Let's not forget about fair trade. Fair trade is a movement that aims to give producers in developing countries better prices, improved working conditions, and a fairer deal for their products. By choosing fair trade products, consumers can support farmers and workers who are paid fairly and work in safe conditions. This not only helps reduce poverty, but also encourages more sustainable farming practices. Products like fair trade coffee, chocolate, and clothing are becoming more popular as people look for ways to make their purchases more ethical. Another interesting response is the marketing of ethical products. These products are promoted as being better for the environment or for the people who produce them. For example, ethical oil refers to oil that is produced with respect for human rights and the environment, while ethical diamonds are mined without exploiting workers or funding conflicts. By choosing these products, consumers can support companies that are committed to more responsible practices, making a positive impact with their purchases. And then there's boycotting, a more direct approach to making change. Some people and organizations choose to boycott less sustainable products or companies that use unsustainable practices. A boycott is when people refuse to buy products from a certain company or industry because they disagree with their practices. For example, some consumers might boycott products made with palm oil that leads to deforestation or refuse to buy from companies with poor environmental records. Boycotts can be a powerful way to pressure companies to change their ways and adopt more sustainable practices. So what's the takeaway? The challenges that come with using natural resources are serious, but people are finding ways to make a difference. From switching to renewable energy and reducing consumption, to promoting fair trade and ethical products, and even boycotting companies that don't do their part, there are lots of ways we can all help protect our planet. That's it for today's geography lesson. Next time you make a purchase or flip a light switch, Think about the impact you're making and how you can be part of the solution to the challenges we face.